What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to this video in which we'll talk about REN. Um, yeah, just, just the normal REN token. Uh, we'll we'll do, a, do a price analysis on that. We'll talk about some fundamentals. I won't talk too much about the project, um, but we kind of have to because REN is, uh, is, is shutting down. At least it's, uh, it's normal network. So also if you still have funds wrapped up at REN, for example, uh, make sure to unwrap them and put them on uh, their original chain again because uh, as you can see REN protocol is shutting down uh, and they are starting REN 2.0 but that's uh, that's definitely not where this bullish momentum comes from so but, but it's 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 obviously very bearish everything that's happening uh, the 20th of, 20th of December they gave their last uh, last uh, reminder that everything is operational but uh, it's expected to go offline which is, uh, this is obviously still a direct, um, <clears throat> excuse me, still a direct effect of uh, everything that happened with FTX. Um, so with that, I also think that you should be very careful today with REN. If you take a look at the uh, the volume, a lot is coming from uncredible sources. Here you can see BitTrue, BitThumb, WhiteBit, Tidex, um, which uh, to me, I mean, I just don't really trust this. But that's just my take. But I, I do feel the need to, to warn you a little bit about that. I've seen... Uh, tokens like this be bullish like this with volume coming from those sources where they crash down very hard uh, afterwards um so that's everything i think you need to know ab about ren now let's actually take a look at the technicals because obviously there's still money to be made there's money to be lost but there's also money to be made uh, if we take a look at ren right now purely looking at the technicals what you can see is that we had a bullish breakout yesterday above uh, the resistance level which we had around seven cents uh, which brought us up to this major resistance level at eight cents uh, it's, it's major because you got this 200 EMA there, which is a very strong resistance level, but you also got that 3A2 FIP there and it's a normal key level. Um, see, I, I drew this scenario because I, I actually do think that there's one sort of a scenario in which we could get a bullish breakout and go all the way up to 9.2 cents, which is our next price target. Um, but to me, what we would need to do for, for REN to really get up even higher than this is we need to drop down to the level we broke above around 7 cents but 7.2 cents in this case and if we can then actually hold that for 3 days alright then I think we're going to break above 8, eight cents and get up to 9.2 cents but I, I want to stress that this is really not what I expect I really don't think this is the most likely scenario I just want to let you know it's, it's possible I think it's way more likely though that we will drop down to 7 cents 7.2 cents we might hold that for a full 24 hours but I don't think it's going to hold indefinitely. I think we're going to get a bearish breakout, drop down to six and a half cents, take a break, reads us off of seven cents, and start dropping towards the six cents or five and a half cents. Uh, at least we, we might even uh, drop down even further to five cents, kind of what I expect, uh, because the whole project is closing down, obviously. Uh, but we will. I think this is way more, way more likely and way more realistic, given the fundamentals of the project shutting down. Uh, but also still us being in a bear market, of course, which is uh, definitely not something you should uh, not something you should forget. Um, so yeah, this this is the most likely scenario. There's still like the, the key level is really seven point two and seven cents, and I think it's it's way more likely if that gets a bearish breakout. If you think REN is actually strong enough to to hold that, or if you think the ma manipulation will actually continue, because that's in crypto is obviously also a possibility. Uh, then, then, then this is going to happen. But as I said, given the the fundamentals that that I believe in, and given uh, given my knowledge about crypto, I think this is more likely. But that's my take. So if you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, enjoy your uh, Tuesday and take care and bye.